Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm participating in a DIY decor challenge. It's the Bloom with Grace challenge featuring peonies. This challenge is hosted by Brenda over at Moner's Market. Brenda likes farmhouse inspired DIYs, thrift flips, dupes, Dollar Tree hauls, and more. Today's challenge is co-hosted by Favi over at Arrows DIY. She loves decorating home high-end on a budget. Check out this wonderfully talented creator. For my first DIY, I decided to make my own peonies. So what I did was I used those wooden balls and I had some roses that I had from Dollar Tree. I also used hot glue. And I took apart the rose petals and I folded them over. So there was three petals. I cut it down to two and I folded the two over. Then I used hot glue. Once the glue was dry, I inverted the petal so it was kind of facing inward and I took some of these Hawaiian lay pieces I covered up the wooden ball with the Hawaiian lay flower and I chose this color because I thought it went well with the peach color rose once I had the ball completely covered I did add the petal and I made sure to put it instead of going outwards it was going inwards and I did this several times around the ball now I did look up what a peony looks like I'm pretty sure my mom had some of these in her flower garden in the past And I love these flowers. They're so beautiful, especially when they're in full bloom. So here I am. I'm just adding more and more petals to the wooden ball. I wasn't sure exactly how many petals to put on. But I just did it until I thought I had a good amount. You're the one that's doing the crafting, so it's up to you. Once I had it how I wanted it, I gave it a little trim because I wanted the petals flush with the wooden ball. For the inside of the peony, I decided to cut one of the petals into three little strips and glue that inside. And I did that on both sides of the inside because I wanted it to have that unopened look. Like the petals hadn't opened up yet. Once that was done, I just added a couple more petals on the outside. And my peony was looking really good. Now this is trial and error. I had never made these before. But once I got the hang of it, I had a lot easier time making the next ones.
This was the biggest flower that I made. It was the first one. All the other flowers that I did were a lot smaller. So now I'm making the second one and I did end up making three peach ones. And I only used two of the bushes of peach roses from Dollar Tree. So it only cost me two fifty, and the little wooden balls that I had. I got them from a garage sale. I think I paid 50 cents. So I didn't spend, I didn't go out and spend any money on this project. I used all things that were in my stash. And that's what I'm going to be trying to do. Crafting in my stash. Then I took some wooden stir sticks and adding hot glue on the bottom of the little peony. I stuck the stick inside. Now I did have to hold it for a bit while it was drying just so it would take hold. Then I took another Hawaiian lei because I wanted some white as well to contrast with the peach. So I just did the same thing. I covered the wooden ball with the white. Now I did have to do two layers on this one because you could see through the wood on the inside. And once I got all of the little pieces put on, this is how it looks. And I did do two of those. Then I had this box that I really liked with this bicycle on it and I thought, hey, I can just make a vase. So what I did was I took my scissors and I cut out a square piece, like a hole, and then I took some of this foam and I glued it to the bottom of the box. And once I did that, I took all of my flowers that I had made and I place them inside. And here's a look at the flowers. I think they turned out really beautiful. And I had this flowery green garland that I got at a garage sale. And I added that on. And then I put the box top back on. I really love the look of it. I think it looks so pretty and you could use it for a wedding or on your dining room table. It's so beautiful. And this is my creation, my box face with peony flowers. This challenge is called Bloom with Grace. So I had this cool calendar and I decided to use one of the pages out of it. So just using some of this white glue, I put it down on this piece of wood and then I found this beautiful saying inside that actually had some peonies on it. And I just flattened that out on top of the wood piece. Then I added some glue on the top and the bottom to put down the calendar page. I ended up cutting some of the part off so I decided to add some on to the sides. And this is how it looks so far. And then I added the last piece on just so it would look complete. I really like the saying that's on it. And I thought it went well with the theme.
Once I had that on, I had these wood embellishments from Dollarama and I decided to use a paint marker and I painted it purple. I did end up painting it on both sides. And once I had it how I wanted it, I just glued it down with hot glue. Then I took more of that green garland with baby's breath. I really love it, it's so pretty. And I glued that to the top. I did end up gluing some of the flowers up a bit higher and giving it a little trim so you could see the words. Then I had this purple rose and I added even more of the lay flowers inside so it looked more like a peony. And once I had it full enough, I did add it onto the front of the sign. I had this buffalo check ribbon that I made into a little bow and thanks to the help of my friend Herb from Herb Scrolling Station, he suggested I put it right here. I'll link his channel in the description box below. And here's my beautiful sign. I want to thank Brenda over at Moner's Market and Favi at Arrows DIY for hosting this wonderful challenge. Make sure to check out their links and the playlist in the description box below. Please do me a favor and share my video. It really helps me out. Thank you and see you soon.